We're going to talk about this particular type of pinboard firing system. This specific system comes in two different versions, a 400 shot version that you can see here, that's uh, pretty large, and a 200 shot version that you see here. They both work and are set up in the exact same fashion. So for example purposes, we're going to work with the 200 shot system. We're going to take you through uh, step by step how to use it out in the field. Uh, the first thing you're going to do uh, once your show is set up, you're going to take each of your firing cables that come from each of the field strips. And uh, these plug in from left to right. Uh, so this is going to be cues 1 through 50, 51 through 100, so on and so forth, up to 200. These are 25 pair Amphenol Telco cables that are universal across all of the systems that we use. Um, the next step is you're going to have run a ground wire from your firing strips. And uh, this is going to represent a said ground wire. Uh, this would normally the other end of this would be connected to your firing strips. You can see there's posts here labeled ground. Um, it's a typical speaker wire terminal where you're going to wire it through the small hole and then screw it down. Make sure you have metal on metal contact and you're not pinching the insulation. Okay, uh, both of these grounds are the same. Um, essentially made for uh, being able to accommodate all of the grounds from all the different firing cables. Next step, so once you have all of that hooked up, you're going to wire up your batteries. You start by wiring to the board first. So we're going to wire our ground wire in first, or I should say our negative wire in first. And we're going to do the positive wire. Making sure you have metal on metal. Hook the positive end to the red side of the batteries. Negative end to the black side of the batteries. And then you have a little jumper wire. These are two 12 volt batteries. We jump them like this to create a 24 volt circuit. Before you make the final connection, make sure everything is off and in the test position. So the reason you're gonna hook the wires up to the terminals before you hook them up to the batteries is once the wires are hooked to the batteries, let's say you hooked everything up except for your red positive lead, um, this lead loose, if you were to touch one of the firing contacts, you could actually fire a shot. So we always wanna make sure that we go board, then battery. Whenever you're uh, attaching wires to any of these uh, speaker type terminals, uh, it just needs to be finger tight. You don't need a wrench, you don't need to crank it down, otherwise you can uh, pull the terminal loose in some cases. So once we have it hooked up, you make sure your sight is clear before you, uh, anytime you turn on your system. We'll turn the system on, making sure the, the test fire switch is in the test position. You'll have a little green light that comes on here. Now, you take your stylus, your 200 metal contacts, you're gonna run through Touching the stylus to each contact, if it beeps, it's going to tell you that you have good continuity or a complete circuit. You've plugged your device in uh, properly and you don't have any bad electric matches or bad terminals. When you are in continuity mode, in addition to uh, the speaker, the audible tone that you hear when uh, you're testing continuity, you'll also have uh, a light, a yellow light here that will flash, uh, notifying you that you have continuity, so you have a visual marker as well. When you're ready to fire the display, you flip the switch from test to fire, the, the red light will come on. So there's uh, an additional indicator to let you know that uh, you are in fire mode. Now every time you touch a contact with the stylus, you're going to actually fire the device that's hooked up to that cue. And always remember before you switch the board into fire mode or turn it on in general to know where your stylus is so it's not laying on the board. 